Hi there grass lovers. There's no hay or haylish to be made today because we finished for now. But anyone that's ever mown a lawn will know all too well that one thing's for sure about grass, it just keeps growing. So give it another couple of weeks and we'll be back at it again. But in the meantime, there's plenty to be getting on with. I'm just spraying the wheat with the T3. Uh, it's a bit later than ideal, but we've been a bit busy up until now. And it was too hot on Friday, which is why we went to the pub. Um, it's important to keep the wheat clean because we bale all the straw in little bales and it goes to supply some studs. Um, so we need to make sure the straw is nice and bright free of any dust. I've just got off the tractor to check on our phacelia, which we planted earlier in the spring. And it's done really well despite being planted in a drought. And it's just about to come into flower. You can see those little purple flowers. And when it does, it will provide some food for these bees. And these hives are owned by Victor, the Ukrainian beekeeper who featured on Clarkson's farm last year. Um, and it's great to have bees on the farm because they do the world of good. And you can just see them flying around there. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to piss them off. And I'm sure they can fly faster than I can run. Um, but it's just a lovely sight to see. Now, some people like to watch all sorts of weird stuff on the internet. And as long as it's legal and done in the privacy of your own home, who am I to judge? And some people even like to watch other people opening stuff. I don't quite know why. But what I'm going to show you now is me opening a bale of haylage, and it's one of the first we made, because I've got to get a sample out of it to send off for analysis. Now, to do this job, I shall be using my new Opinel number no. 7 stainless steel knife. I've lost all my other ones. I've lost two knives this season already. So it's been a bad season for knives. But hopefully I won't lose this one because it's high vis. Here we go. Don't know where to start. Shall I cut it like that? Or shall I cut it like that? There you go. There she is. Well, first impressions, it's haylage. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to get the old uh, sampling kit. And we'll get it bagged up. Here they are, all ready to go off to the lab. We'll get everything sampled in due course. But for now, we'll just get these two done because these are what are going to be going out first, we hope. Um, we get full nutritional analysis, hygiene analysis and a mineral profile done on everything and the results of this are absolutely critical as to whether or not we can sell it to our top customers who understandably won't take anything but the best. So it'll be a nervous wait until we get the results, it'll be about normally about two weeks. Um, so fingers crossed they'll come back good. Now here's the old girl with a knackered and worn out box. I know a few women with that trouble, but I'm not going to uh, mention any names, and it was in there. So I'm just about to take it into agri-transmissions at Coventry for the chaps to work their magic on it. And with a bit of luck, before too long, she'll be all back, ship shape and Bristol fashion. I've just got back from Yorkshire, God's County, my backside. Give me Warwickshire any day. We're going to pick up this bale grab. And we've got one identical to this, uh, a bit newer. And I thought we'd better have another one. And this came up on Facebook for a bargain price, so I thought we'd better have it. So I went up there without really measuring the old one to see if it would fit in the back of this truck. Um, well, I got up there, and I thought, that's not going to go in there. That's not going to fit. But anyway, I thought, well, I'm not coming back again. So I pushed and shoved and swore and shouted and grunted. And how I didn't damage anything is amazing. But we got it in in the end. Um, and I've got it back now. Um, and that distance there is what's technically referred to as a gnat's knob. It's actually bending the plastic. So I'll uh, have to try and get it out now without damaging anything else. Well, that's all the wheat sprayed and I've even had time for a haircut. Uh, we've shut the gates on it now. I'm not spending any more money on it. The next time we come back in the fields, we'll be with a combine in about a month. So if anyone's interested, I'll try and show you a bit of that as well. <laughs> 